Good morning, modern steaders. I told you I was supposed to get cold last night, but I wasn't expecting this. Ah, don't look. <laughs> Guys, we got more snow last night. <sighs> A little depressing. I mean, it looks beautiful and all in the trees, but we've had enough. <laughs> <sighs> Don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a lot quieter in here. We ended up culling our roosters and sending them to freezer camp. The barred rock chickens that we have in the winter greenhouse, they were hatched out here in the property. Last fall, we had a batch of baby chicks walking around the homestead. I was like, what? We didn't even know it. We had a chicken sitting on eggs somewhere on the rock wall and hatched out all those bod rocks. So we ended up getting four roosters and I think five hens out of it. So the roosters we sent to freezer camp. So this way, once the weather gets nicer, we can take the chickens from the greenhouse and we can bring them all to New York City. And we don't have to worry about moose competing with any other roosters. Tanner got his shots the other day. He wasn't doing good that night. He's doing a lot better this morning. Did you find Figaro? It's supposed to warm up and be in the 50s today, but it's a little depressing this time of the year when you wake up to snow. <sighs> it's gonna be a good day. That 50 degree weather is gonna feel nice. It snowed out, girls. What do you gotta think? You got your head buried right in there, Buttercup. Finding the good stuff? What are you doing, Figaro? Anything good in there? You wanna come out for a few minutes? Good morning. What do you think of the cat, huh? I'll have to bring out some more seaweed for you girls later. You keep eating all the seaweed, huh? She's thinking, hey, maybe that's my brother. He looks kind of like me. Is that your brother? He's got your markings. It's not your room. I know, you think you own the whole farm, don't you? There you go, you stay out. You want some chaff, hey, Hope? Come on. You gonna come, Hope? I know you are. <laughs> I knew that would get you. I knew that would get you. There you go. She loves her chaff, hey? Is that better than mama's milk? Huh? I think Figaro wants to be Hope's buddy. You like the goats, Figaro? Or do you just like hope? Huh? Why do you just like hope? Ready to go out? Come on. Let's go. Time to go out. Come on. I think once the weather warms up and we can take the sweatshirt off hope, she'll be good by then to be out with the girls full time. Every day I keep thinking we're gonna be able to let the chickens of New York City out, but with this fresh snow, we can't let them out right now. So close to be able to fix that fence. 
I keep telling you girls, tomorrow you'll be able to go out. Well, I gotta say that again today. Maybe this afternoon. We gotta run into town, do some grocery shopping, pick up some goat supplies. We're gonna leave you here at the homestead and we'll be back in a... It'll be like two seconds for you. Come on, Pluto. Pluto, I see you hiding. Come on. Come on, Pluto. never know where you're gonna find Figaro. <sighs> I just gave the chicken some fresh hay and then he was there. Figaro, you're crazy. I know, I just took the milk and stand out where Hope was, but I'm gonna put it back in the main barn area. I need to get Blossom and Buttercup acquainted more with it, and I wanna start feeding them on it. And then same with Willow, we wanna make sure she's used to it. She's gonna be having her baby in about a month now. So, we gotta put it back in the barn. I brought down some more seaweed because the goats have been going to town eating this. Huh, girls? Cody goats. There you go. Let you out in a second. I gotta go bring the milk and stand in first. Let me finish getting it in position first. <laughs> get it. Get it out. No, you get down too. And then we'll get up on it. Let's... Hey girl. What are you doing now, huh? Is the hood nice and warm? It also gives Hope another place to hide from the big girls. Huh, yeah. <laughs> Willow, you're guarding that milk and stand with your life, huh? You're like, I know what gets here, we get fed here. Figaro, how am I supposed to drive the tractor if you're sitting in the seat, huh? You're silly. Is that comfy? Olivia's we're gonna make you a smoothie. No way. No, it's for the goats, sorry. We're making the goats an herbal dewormer. I'll have a link to it in the description below. It's the one Danelle uses. That's what she dewormed Hope with already once. So about two tablespoons molasses. That's one, two tablespoons. Oh, they'll love it. I'm gonna need a tablespoon of goat probiotic. We're using the Herbal Dewormer from Fern Meadow LLC. I'll have a link to that in the description below. I opened it up and I got a bunch of it up my nose. I don't now, think this part is Now I want to sneeze, all right. I was gonna just put my There's not much in there. Did you use it already? But you just don't usually make a smoothie. I usually put it on the chaff right? Okay, one more. Two of them? Two tablespoons. Did you get one more of these? 
置いてあっ、well, You're not very good at baking Is that a tablespoon of dietation? I'll do it gently You don't want to do it with the cover off? I think it's the herbal dewormer. Different, different herbs in there. I got the cover on. You get the cover on. So we want to do like a milkshake. Yep, make a milkshake. You want to be the first one to try it? I'm not trying. <laughs> you don't want to taste it? No. Let me. You want to be the first taster? No. Come on. You go, taste it. Go to only. Okay, you can have control, it's gonna go right at that. Right, you wanna hold that? No. Oh yeah, I guess it's more than I thought. It looked like it was only like a little tiny bit. I'm gonna put the drenching tip on the syringe now. Boom. We also need to give our goats, but not Hope, some copper bolus. Hope is too young to get that. She'll get it around six months old. Want me to get a little bag in Yeah, we can stick that in a bag. So to do the copper, goats need copper in their diet, and around here they don't get it. So in here is little pieces of copper. It'll help keep them healthy, and it actually helps with keeping them dewormed. All right, so this one is for when I eat a blossom of buttercup. Oh, it was broken. What would I need before that? Look at Willow. She's like, this is my milk and stand. Look at her pretty. Aww. It's good stuff, Hope. We've already had it. I know you like it. Oh, thing. What do you think? Is that good stuff? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm gonna take a pee now. All right. Which one of our goats is next? Good job. Oh, Buttercup wants some. There you go, yep. Okay, Buttercup, your turn. Buttercup. Oh, oh right in the face. Come on, you want some? See, they weren't so bad. You like it. Good job. There you go. You all got your dewormers. You should have too. You want a banana? <laughs> You're like a pro. <laughs> awesome possum girl. Are those bananas and molasses good? Watch out, Hope, she's coming for you. Did you get her? She got her bum. You're nice. This is nice household. Hey, Hope. You got something right there. You got some food stuck in your teeth. Yeah, right. over to the other side. Yeah, yeah. No, over. She's like, uh-oh. Buttercup's coming. You're nice, girl. You're nice. Hey, girl. You're nice. Oh, you're playing in the mud now? Yep. You love that so much, Blossom. All done playing. Yeah. Friends of ours gave us some chocolate peanut butter muffins the other night. 
man, they were delicious. They're from a local bakery. Today, we need to try to recreate them. See if we can get it to come out as good, if not better, than the ones we got from the bakery. I'm doubling the recipe. We got one cup of milk. I'm using five pullet eggs. They're nice and small. Two cups cultured sour cream. This is what we're using. We can use regular sour cream. Two thirds of a cup vegetable oil. All those muffins cook. We'll collect the eggs out of the winter greenhouse chicken coop. What do you ladies think? It's quiet in here now, huh? Look at all them eggs. Thank you ladies, now we can make some more muffins. Oh, they smell so good. I can't wait till they cool off enough to try one. Do you smell them, Livies? No. No? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. They remind me of a pancake for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Did try one? I did try one. They taste good. They taste like a chocolate chip pancake. Peanut with peanut butter on it. That's how I would explain it. So what you do? What so, you make? I made um, goat care records and milk production and then kitten records. Cool beans. So but all my records made. Blossoms. You want the blossom? Buttercup. Buttercup. Willows. Willow. Hopes. Hopes. You gonna try one? Yeah. It's still kind of warm. Not good. It's really good. Nice warm chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mmm. Got a nice pork roast from one of the pigs we raised here. I'm gonna put some garlic powder on it. Onion powder. And then some Italian seasoning. Love it. It's all of our goat records now. Yeah. Thank you.
Okay. Huh. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. No clue. If you know what that could be, leave it in the comments down below. No idea. That was a different kind of find. No idea what it is. Looks like some kind of universal joint maybe or I don't know. Or some kind of barren. We're losing a lot of the snow over here. We might be letting the chickens out tomorrow. Thank you. We left New York City with our windows down. We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud. I will stand on your border and I'll search through the cloud. Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down. Ooh, that looks so nice and tender. <laughs> you don't like broccoli, do you? Yes, I do. This time of the year for us, we kind of start getting a little stressed with all the projects that are going to be going on. And this year we're adding the barn to it. And I know a lot of y'all are probably getting stressed too with the growing season coming. We're getting chicks, meat birds, pigs, and all that fun stuff. It's exciting, but it's also everything all at once. So I got a challenge for us all. This is something that I want to do, and I'd love it if you guys tried doing it with me and let me know what you think of it so we're really good at stressing out and I think the opposite side of that is meditating which might kind of sound kind of odd but if we're good at stressing we're good at focusing on the negative so let's take that and flop it around and meditate on the positive let's so think let's about all this the, the out negative that we are going let's, for if we are going to kick our negativity in the butt don't be freaking all the out about all the work we have to do let's I'm focus be doing that on for this month i'd love it the delicious tomato it we're going to be biting into in august leave it in the comments down below we're raising pigs think of all that delicious the bacon and ham and pork chops we're going to be getting so much chickens it's the eggs but i'm sure we're not the only ones out there so let's meet focus on the good let's Go back and forth in the comments and see where we get. And if I don't talk about it more this month, remind me in the comments too. Sometimes I just forget. But thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. We love you all. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.